Welcome to Healthy Vision Talk Radio, the podcast for people in search of a physician with alternative solutions for their eye problems. From the best-selling, award-winning, world's only homeopathic ophthalmologist, here's your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat. Welcome to Healthy Vision. This is your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat, and I'm here every Sunday evening to help you conquer your vision loss. And I can't believe it, only eight days away for our phenomenal conference in Gala, which is going to be held at the Hilton um, Squaw Point uh, right in Phoenix. And this is probably going to be one of the most phenomenal events you'll ever want to attend. On Wednesday, May the 14th, I'm giving a morning workshop, which is open to the public. So I would love you as the listener to come on by and join me um, Talk to me about your eye problems, and I'll give you some pointers on how you can improve your vision and how you can save your eyesight. Then the weekend, uh, May 16th, 17th, and 18th, is the start of this phenomenal event. We're having 20 of the top alternative doctors from all over the country come to Phoenix, Arizona. Each one of these doctors will uh, present a lecture, a uh, one-hour presentation on key points to help you improve your health, uh, 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 show you the facts, what you need to do to really have health freedom. Everyone's concerned uh, about changes in our health care. Everyone's concerned about Obamacare. Is it going to bring good news to the public or is it going to be a disaster? Uh, but I think we have to uh, take things um, uh, in control by ourselves. And one way is to educate yourself on knowing what you have to do to improve your health. So please join me for this phenomenal event uh, coming up May 14th. But I'm giving my workshop. And then 16th, 17th, and 18th will be the conference in Gala. Uh, you can... Call our executive secretary at 602-263-3589. That's 602-263-3589 to get more information on this event. And you can also go to our website, which is ahima, A-H-I-M-A dot U-S. This is a phenomenal organization of Arizona alternative and homeopathic doctors, and I'm proud to be the president of this wonderful organization. So this evening, I thought we would take some time and talk about macular degeneration. Macular degeneration is one of the leading causes of vision loss in the elderly. It's really the incidence is increasing because of many factors, which we'll talk about. So the uh, the lines are open. If uh, you do have macular degeneration or if you have questions regarding your health, I'd like to hear from you. You can reach me. Area code 602-277-KFNX, and that's area code 602-277-KFNX, or toll-free, 866-536-1100. That's 866-536-1100. So let's begin talking about macular degeneration. Well, what is macular degeneration? Well, there's a tiny part of the retina called the macula, and this has an extremely high concentration of cones, which are a sensory element that helps you discern extremely sharp, clear vision. Uh, Because this area has an extremely high metabolic activity, it is susceptible to decrease in oxygenation, toxins, decrease in circulation, etc., So many times you can be fairly healthy, but you begin to have problems with your central vision, and you are told that you have macular degeneration. Some of the earliest signs of macular degeneration is distortion or blurring in the central part of your vision, and this is often due to accumulation of toxins or leakage of blood vessels. Now, traditional ophthalmology has a procedure in which they will... uh, 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 put injections of different chemotherapeutic agents in your eye, and these agents have the property of 
reducing inflammation and decreasing the vascularization of growth of blood vessels in the back of the eye. Uh, I really question the validity of these injections uh, because I'm a homeopathic doctor and I believe in treating the body and treating the underlying cause. I feel that these injections don't address the underlying cause. In some cases, they will improve the vision or slow the progress, but I firmly believe that you're much better off to look at alternative treatments, to look at different methods, to identify the underlying cause. And we'll be talking about those this evening, what are the underlying causes of macular degeneration and what you can do. Well, we have a, a knock on the door. We have a caller, uh, Jim from Florida. Jim, welcome. Hi, to Dr. Condra. Yeah, thanks so much for calling. Uh, I've just finished reading... Uh, Dr. Perlmutter's Grain Brain and Dr. Davis's Weight Belly. And first, I'm wondering, is there a chemical relationship between the uh, Alzheimer's plaque and the AMD drusen, which would make the two diseases somewhat related? And the second uh, question is, is uh, what do you think of their uh, diets? You know, you got two really good questions. And I have read Dr. Perlmutter's book, and it's kind of changing my opinion on, um, you know, dietary, uh, what's best for our diet. And I think it's a great book. Now, your first question regarding changes in macular degeneration, drusen. Drusen is a collection of lipofusin, which develops in the retina, and it's due to sluggish blood flow. Uh, the retina has a very high metabolic activity. Um, the component part of the lipofuscin is different than the plaques that occur in Alzheimer's disease. But there's something really interesting. There is the loss of the nerve fiber layer that occurs in many neurodegenerative uh, disorders, including macular degeneration. And one of the best indicators of Alzheimer's disease is loss of this nerve fiber layer. Now, you may be asking, what is the nerve fiber layer? Well, every rod and cone in the eye sends a little fiber, uh, a little electrical conduction wire, if you will, from the retina into the brain. And researchers have found that the loss of this layer is one of the best indicators of Alzheimer's disease. So I think there is a relationship between the eye, which is uh, part of the neurological system, and other neurodegenerative disorders, although there is not a strong correlation between macular degeneration and Alzheimer's disease. Uh, but fortunately, many of the treatments that we are now employing to treat macular degeneration are also helping the function of the brain. You know, dietary changes, uh, microcurrent, uh, uh, nutritional IVs, oxidative treatments, and we'll be talking about all those things. Uh, so, in regards to Dr. Perlmutter's uh, uh, book and his diet, uh, you know, he feels, feels very strongly that grains and uh, sugar are responsible for many neurological problems and we should be reducing our consumption of those elements and, in fact, increasing the consumption of uh, fats and protein. So, I think his book does make a lot of sense. And I think those dietary, those dietary recommendations have to be made based on the individual. I'm still a firm believer that a raw organic uh, diet is probably one of the best ways. I think it's probably more important to avoid uh, genetically modified organisms, GMO food, to avoid food that has been processed. We really need, especially for your eye, we need colorful food to give you colorful vision. And I do feel that our diet is probably one of the best ways to treat any disorder. So Dr. Perlmutter is taking one extreme, um, although the verdict uh, really is not regarding uh, his approach. But I do, think, I do think that it makes a lot of sense. I hope that answers your question. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, and thanks for tuning in. So we're coming up to another break. 
uh, you're listening to Healthy Vision, and this evening we're talking about macular degeneration, uh, one of the most common causes of visual loss over the age of 65. And I'm 63, so I'm beginning to take those steps to prevent those early signs of macular degeneration. And I do feel strongly that the alternative treatments that I'm going to be talking about can improve your vision. They can reverse macular degeneration. I know that that statement may be controversial, but I see folks improve their vision all the time. So, folks, we're going to be right back after this break, and we're going to be talking more about macular degeneration. Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Lately, more and more nutritionists are discovering that beets are a superfood that offers powerful health and nutritional benefits. Can red beets help eye disease? Studies indicate that red beets are the richest source of dietary nitrates. It's these dietary nitrates which the body converts into nitric oxide. Nitric oxide can open up the blood vessels in the body, increasing blood flow and oxygen, specifically to places that are lacking oxygen. Nitric oxide is a molecule that dilates blood vessels, allowing more oxygen and nutrients to fuel every cell in your body, including your eye. Neo40 is a patented breakthrough in nitric oxide delivery to boost the efficiency of the body's nitrate pathways so that more nitric oxide is available when and where it's needed. Each Neo40 lozenge is roughly equivalent to six red beets. For more information on Neo40, call 800-430-9328 or go to HealingTheEye.com. That's 800-430-9328 or HealingTheEye.com. You can beat eye disease now. Call 800-430-9328. A new approach to dementia and Alzheimer's is finally available, and it's under your nose. Yes, the answer to these two devastating diseases is right under your nose, or should I say, in your nose. A published study shows that intranasal light, a laser light placed in your nose, can reverse symptoms of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. In 30 days, over two-thirds of the patients had an improvement of symptoms. This treatment can also help with headaches and memory problems. Treatment is simple with a small laser light placed in your nostril. The laser light bathes the blood vessels in the nose, which then travel to the brain. This treatment is documented to reduce inflammation and stimulate activity of cells. This simple, portable treatment device can be used daily. For more information, call 800-430-9328 or go to HealingTheEye.com. That's 800-430-9328 or visit HealingTheEye.com. The answer is right under your nose. 800-430-9328. 800-430-9328. Are you looking for more natural alternative medical solutions but aren't finding them from traditional doctors? Do you wish your doctor spent more time helping you prevent health problems? Join us for the Top 20 Alternative Doctors of America Conference and Gala. For the price of a doctor's visit, you can attend workshops and personally meet and greet each doctor. Leave with the knowledge to change your life forever. All participants will receive a copy of the best-selling book, Top Alternative Doctors of America. The event will be held in Phoenix May 14th through the 18th at the Hilton Point Hotel at Squaw Peak. Register now and save. Find those medical solutions using a more natural, safe way at this special event. For more information or to register, go to ahima.us or call 602-263-3589. ahima.us or call 602-263-3589. Leave with the knowledge to change your life forever. Would you like to have a very profitable career without the typical expense of building one from the ground up? No selling, no inventory, no employees, and no debt. Listen to the Delta Trading Show every Thursday from 3 to 4 p.m. right here on Independent Talk 1100 KFNX. Or call 888-959-4004. 888-959-4004. The Delta Trading Show, Thursdays at 3 p.m. Are you surrounded by too much stuff? Are you looking to make some cash? 
Contact r r Auction, Glendale's leading family-owned and operated auction house. They're seeking quality consignments for public auctions. Whether it's a full estate or just a trunkful, turn your clutter into cash at r r Auction. Live auctions every Sunday at 11 a.m. with a preview at 10 a.m. auction day. No deposit required to bid. Call r r Auction at 623-939-7355 or visit r auctioncom and turn your clutter into cash. Log on and listen live. 1100kfnx.com. Welcome back to Healthy Vision. This is your host, uh, Dr. Edward Gondrat. And we're talking about macular degeneration. And I would like to hear from you if you have questions regarding macular degeneration or eye problems. You can reach me at 602-277-5369. That's 277-5369 or toll free, 866-536-1100. That's 866-536-1100. Eleven hundred, and I hope to see many of uh, you listeners out there at the big conference in Gala, which is coming up May sixteenth, seventeenth, and eighteenth. And if you want more information on the Gala, six zero two two six three three five eight nine, our executive secretary. Uh, but if you can't make the Gala, uh, you can get a copy of the Top Alternative Doctors of America book. In fact, I'm holding the book right now in my hand. Uh, just last week, I had over 5,000 copies of the book uh, delivered to our wellness center in Florida, and I'm really excited about this book. This is my fourth book that I've published, and I think this book is going to be one of the top sellers to really help you find answers to your health problems. So this book is not a book on eye disease. This is a book regarding any health issue that you may have a question on. We have 20 of the top alternative doctors from all over America who specialize in different conditions, and each one of these doctors give you their secrets to good health. Uh, It's a great book, and if you can't make the gala, you can get a copy of the book. Give the office a call at 800-430-9328. That's 800-430-9328 to get a copy of the book. Now, I wanted to start our discussion on macular degeneration by talking about a very important nutritional aspect. There's been so many studies that have indicated that zinc deficiency is linked to macular degeneration. Now, the shocking thing that I've discovered is 80 to 90 percent of patients that I see are deficient in zinc even if they're taking it as a supplement. So that is a very scary statistic. They may be asking, how can that be? Well, you're either taking the wrong kind of zinc, um, it's not being absorbed in your body, or there's some other issues going on. So let's talk about a good form of zinc. Most of the vitamin formulas out on the market are composed of zinc oxide. Zinc oxide is poorly absorbed in the body, and I would suggest you take a form of zinc called zinc colonate zinc citrate, zinc acetate, any form of chelated zinc, which is absorbed much more readily in the body. Uh, In addition, most people are not taking the proper amount of zinc. Uh, I think as we get older, our digestion and absorption changes. So even though we may be taking what we think is an adequate level of zinc, uh, not enough is being absorbed into our bodies. Now, another interesting reason why many people are deficient in zinc is the majority of the adult population are suffering from some form of heavy metal poisoning. It's shocking. I have observed the majority of people that I see with eye problems do have elevated lead primarily and also elevated mercury. Lead is the big one. As long as your lead is elevated, that is going to compete with the zinc in your body. So the zinc, which is essential for many enzymatic reactions and good eye function, is not getting into your body because of these lead molecules. Lead is a big metal. It's like a bully, and it pushes the zinc away. So what can you do? Number one is a simple taste test for zinc. A 1% zinc sulfate solution, you squirt a little bit in your mouth, and you'll know immediately you're deficient in zinc. And if you're listening out there and you want to 
Uh, you want to get a zinc taste test, a liquid solution, give the office a call at 800-430-9328, and we'll send it to you. Now, one of the best ways that you can help boost your zinc, because even if you begin taking high doses of zinc, and I recommend if you are deficient in zinc, you take 100 milligrams a day. Even if you do that, it may take you three to six months or even longer because you've really got to be evaluated for heavy metals and you've got to get rid of that lead. And we'll talk a little bit more about getting tested for lead and getting that removed. But one of the best ways of getting zinc into your body is by a nutritional IV called a Mars cocktail, M-E-Y-E-R-S. And the Mars cocktail is a special fortified vitamin mixture of all of the trace minerals, including zinc and selenium, B-complex vitamins and vitamin C, uh, just a lot of good nutrients for your eye. And this is given intravenously. So when we you receive this intravenously, we know that everything in that vitamin IV is getting into your body. We don't have to worry about this variation in uh, your intestinal absorption. So you've got to get those zinc levels up and you've got to be tested for zinc uh, to make certain that you're not deficient. But I'm sure that the majority of you listening are probably deficient in zinc. Another way you can help your body absorb the zinc is by taking a good vitamin formula that has a balance in terms of uh, probiotics, digestive enzymes, and a little bit of supplemental uh, betaine or hydrochloric acid because as we get older, uh, we have a decreased level of hydrochloric acid in our gut, and that prevents these minerals from being absorbed. Uh, and I can't uh, emphasize strongly enough the importance of a raw organic diet um, you know, uh, as soon as you cook food, steam it, preserve it, boil it, it loses a lot of the nutritional value. So one way to get those essential minerals into your body is by eating more raw organic food. Uh, and that uh, step alone will help you improve your nutritional health and your eye health. But let's get back to the problem with lead. Lead is a major problem, and as I mentioned just about everybody that I see with problems do have an elevated lead. So we're coming up to a break, and when we come back, I'm going to tell you how you should be tested for lead, uh, what are the treatments, what are some dietary changes that can help uh, remove lead, uh, and also I'd like to hear from you. Uh, the lines are open, and I would enjoy uh, hearing uh, your questions, any clarification that you might need. I'm here every Sunday evening to help you find out the answers to restore your vision and to reverse your eye problem. And macular regeneration is a condition that you can reverse the problem and you can improve your vision. I'm convinced of it. I see folks improve their vision every day. You don't need surgery and you don't need injections to do this. So uh, if you do have a question, give me a call at 602-277-5369. That's 277-5369. Or you can reach me toll free at 866-536-1100. That's 866-536-1100. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about how you should be tested for lead and what are some of the things you can do to remove the lead? And I'm certain that if you do these things, you will have an improvement of vision. This is your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat. We'll be right back after this break. I'm Chris Vermillion. 
Nearly a dozen arrests in Malaysia, suggesting terrorism may have had a large role in the disappearance of Flight 370. The Blaze Radio's Ken Stevens. All are members of what Britain's Daily Mail calls a violent new terror group bent on bombing targets in Muslim countries. And as their arrests in Malaysia go public, a new site in Malaysia reporting the cargo on the doomed flight is the subject of renewed focus. While it's known the plane was carrying more than 400 pounds of lithium-ion batteries, the Malaysian site The Star says radio accessories were being transported aboard Flight 370, but were not detailed in the cargo manifest. TheBlaze.com has more on the latest developments. I'm Ken Stevens, The Blaze News. CBS is Bob Schaefer asking Senator Lindsey Graham on Face the Nation how he would respond to the idea that the investigation into the Benghazi attack is all politically motivated. Well, I would say to anybody who believes that this is just about politics, go tell that to the family members. Anybody who plays politics with well, Benghazi is going to get burned. So if we're playing politics with well, Benghazi, then we'll get burned. If our Democratic friends are shielding the, the administration and trying to protect them, and if the administration tried to protect themselves, uh, their re-election, because they couldn't stand the truth uh, about Benghazi, then they'll get burned. The 140th Kentucky Derby, running on NBC. California Chrome shines bright in the Kentucky Derby! California Chrome winning at Churchill Downs, giving jockey Victor Espinosa his second derby win, and making Art Sherman the oldest winning derby trainer at age 77. So, after a horse purchased for $8,000 wins the Kentucky Derby, how much is it worth? Art Sherman tells Fox and Friends. I'll guarantee you $10 million probably couldn't buy him. If you missed it, you can see a replay of the race at theblaze.com. This is news on the Blaze Radio Network. Truth lives here. Hi, everybody. Jim Howell from the KFNX Weather Center. 100 degree readings, even higher around our southwest deserts this afternoon. But that's short lived as we have another big cool down this upcoming week by Wednesday, mid 80s. Jim Howell, Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Currently in downtown Phoenix, it's 99 degrees. Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. The folks at Fullerton Financial Planning understand how important it is to have faith in your retirement planning process. Fullerton Financial is an experienced team that's responsive and understands your need for integrity and transparency. Fullerton Financial Planning is one of the most respected financial planning firms in Arizona. Contact Stephanie Fullerton, the president of Fullerton Financial, today at 800-521-6059. That's 800-521-6059. Hi, Rick and Dave here. The Elton Brothers on KFNX. Have you ever pulled in front of a listing, can't get a hold of anyone, and just wanted more info and photos? That's so annoying. Well, we have an app for you. Simply text Elton to 323233. It's completely free and downloads right to your mobile device. So any real estate sign across the valley. Text Elton to 323233 and get all the MLS info right to your phone. Immediately. The Elton Brothers, Realty One Group, putting real estate in the palm of your hand. Call Dr. Condrit for a personal consultation. Dr. Condrit is a leading alternative eye doctor, author of three best-selling books, and host of Healthy Vision Talk Radio. Call for your personal consultation with Dr. Condrit to learn what alternative therapies can help you. Take this important step today to improve your vision. Call 1-800-430-9328. That number again... 1-800-430-9328. Don't touch that dial. Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Uh, Welcome back to Healthy Vision. This is your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat. And this evening we're talking about macular degeneration. And we have a knock on the door. Uh, Buck from Scottsdale, welcome to Healthy Vision. Thank you, Dr. The person who received my calls, I told them I want this uh, uh, related to glaucoma, and they said, okay, go ahead and ask it. (laughs) So I've I've read in a couple of uh, publications a warning about uh, taking too much niacin if you have glaucoma. Can you, is, is, do you think that's fairly a valid warning, and what's the relationship there? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not, uh, aware of any problem with niacin and glaucoma. Uh, you know, niacin does dilate the blood vessels and it does lower your, your pressure. 
I think the only contraindication might be that in some cases when you do get a lowering of your blood pressure, that's not good for glaucoma because glaucoma is a disease of poor circulation or low circulation in the optic nerve. So you want to keep the pressure up. You want to keep the blood circulating to the optic nerve. So I'm sorry I can't answer uh, that question. I'm just not familiar with a, a problem with niacin and glaucoma. I haven't heard of that. All right. Well, I thank you very much. But what you might want to do is if you are taking the niacin, have your eye doctor check your pressure and um, also monitor your vision. Uh, you know, I think that you know, we, we tend to look at doctors uh, for all the answers, uh, but I think you have to be the master of your own body. And anytime you do something, if you don't feel right or causes your vision to be blurred or you get an ache or pain, it's probably not good for you. So, well, you know, I think you, you know, you get a. You get a flush with niacin, and, and I just figured that it, it would be too much if it, you know, it had something to do with uh, enlarging the blood vessels or something. Well, my only concern would be it would lower the pressure. Uh, but if it's increasing the pressure, increasing the circulation, that's going to be good for the glaucoma. I would think so. Because that's what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, but I would uh, probably observe your vision, and also I would have your pressure checked. So maybe right. take some nice and right before your next eye exam and see what's going on with your eye pressure. And if right. it's lower, the eye doctor tells you, hey, Buck, this is the best reading I've ever had, you can smile and you know that you're onto something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. doctor. Th thank you okay. very much. Okay, good thanks for your call. Okay, well, uh, you know, Buck was talking uh, about some alternative uh, solutions to glaucoma. and uh, you know, heavy metal poisoning does have a big play in adversely affecting eyes with glaucoma. So what are we be talking about with these heavy metals is something you need to look at if you have uh, glaucoma, macular degeneration, or any eye problem for that matter. So where does this lead come from? Well, most of us grew up at a time when we had leaded gasoline, leaded paint, um, leaded pencils. And our body is just loaded with lead. Now, lead takes a long time to leave the body. In fact, uh, some researchers say that the half-life of lead in the body is 99 years. That means if you have 10 grams of lead in your body, it's going to take 99 years for you to get rid of 5 grams. Another reason why many of us are seeing a spike in lead is that when we're younger, the lead is stored in our bones. And as we get older, the bones begin to soften especially the ladies out there when they get postmenopausal and they get osteoporosis, lead is leached out of the bone and gets into the body, and it goes to the next best place, which is your eye, your brain, and your fat tissue. So one of the best ways to get measured for lead is a urine challenge test. Now, why a urine challenge test? Well, you can be dying of lead poisoning, and your urine and blood is going to be normal because lead just doesn't stay in your urine or blood. You need to take an agent, and this agent will make that lead soluble. Uh, and then you measure it. Collect the urine for six hours, and most alternative doctors who are really taking this seriously will do a six-hour urine challenge test. Not a hair analysis or not a simple blood test. You need a six-hour urine challenge test. And if you want more information on this urine challenge test, uh, you can give the office a call at 800-430-9328 or go to my website, www.healingtheeye.com, and it's all one word, healingtheeye.com. I have a lot of free information here to help guide you to get the right test, to get the right evaluation. So what do you do? Uh, we got another knock on the door. Uh, hello, you're on the air with Dr. Kondrat. Uh, yes, I was calling uh, about the microcurrent. Um, I'm not, I, I'm in Maryland, so I can't get to Florida or Arizona. But I recently saw um, a TENS machine that had microcurrent on it. I wondered if you'd comment on that. Uh, well, that's a really good question because microcurrent is one of the topics we're going to be talking about. But since you asked the question and brought it up, let's address it. 
Microcurrent can be one of the best ways to restore lost vision. I see it all the time. But you have to be very careful on using the right microcurrent device. A TENS device is not the right device to use. Now, why is that? Well, a TENS delivers a very high current. It's not a microcurrent machine. It's a milliamp machine. It delivers maybe 1,000 to 2,000 microamps. You need a machine that delivers a very low current, uh, microamps. There were studies done to show that if you don't achieve this low level, you can actually decrease cellular activity and you can actually lose vision. So there are many, many different microcurrent machines on the market, but I think it's critical that you are under the observation of an eye doctor. And you mentioned you're in Maryland and you can't come yes. to Florida. Yes, and most of the eye, eye doctors have... don't know about microcurrent here. <laughs> well, I've trained about 20 eye doctors who are now doing microcurrent uh, under uh, my supervision using my protocol. So if you give the office a call, I know we have a doctor in uh, Pennsylvania, we have a doctor in North Carolina, and I believe we have a doctor, I'm not sure if we have one in Virginia, but give the office a call and they can give you some more information. Um, but you need to find somebody who has the right machine that has the right level of current. So it's dangerous to go out there and invest in the machine that can actually harm your vision. Microcurrent can work miracles, but you need the right machine and the right current. Also, microcurrent will work much better if you improve your nutritional status. So we're talking about nutrition. Get those zinc levels up and also get rid of the lead. Now, for maybe some of the listeners that don't know about microcurrent, how does microcurrent work? Well, it improves blood flow. It stimulates cellular activity. It can reduce scar tissue. It has a neuroprotective effect. It makes the eye stronger. It reduces inflammation. It just does so many wonderful things. It's probably the number one modality that I use to help folks uh, restore lost vision. So I'm glad that you're considering microcurrent, but the only caution I would have is Make sure you find an eye doctor that is trained in using it and you get the right microcurrent machine. Um, we do have, we are having a microcurrent conference in Florida. Uh, and there's also one in Phoenix, Arizona. So uh, you can call the office and we do have educational meetings to help you get educated in the microcurrent so you're going to be using the right, the right machine. So I hope that answers your question. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, folks, you're listening to Healthy Vision. This is your host, Dr. Edward Condrat. I'm a board-certified ophthalmologist and also a homeopathic doctor. And I guess as you can tell by listening to the show so far, I firmly believe that you should investigate alternative therapies. You should investigate strengthening your body, trying to find the underlying cause of disease, before you rush into surgery or you have injections. There are many things you can do to improve the health of your body, to strengthen your body, and at the same time, improve your vision. So we didn't really have enough time to go over how to remove that elevated lead. But when we come back after this break, I promise you, I'm going to talk about ways that you can remove that lead, improve the blood flow to your body, uh, improve your mental capacity, and improve your vision. So this is something extremely valuable that I hope you stay tuned and listen to this. And also, those of you that are in the Phoenix area, you're going to be traveling to Phoenix the middle of May, don't forget about the Top 20 Alternative Doctors of America Conference in Gala, a phenomenal event. If you can't make it, the Top 20 Alternative Doctors of America textbook is now available. If you want information on any of these, give the office a call at 800-430-9328. 800-430-9328. We'll be right back after this break.
Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. A new approach to dementia and Alzheimer's is finally available, and it's under your nose. Yes, the answer to these two devastating diseases is right under your nose, or should I say, in your nose. A published study shows that intranasal light, a laser light placed in your nose, can reverse symptoms of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. In 30 days, over two-thirds of the patients had an improvement of symptoms. This treatment can also help with headaches and memory problems. Treatment is simple with a small laser light placed in your nostril. The laser light bathes the blood vessels in the nose, which then travel to the brain. This treatment is documented to reduce inflammation and stimulate activity of cells. This simple, portable treatment device can be used daily. For more information, call 800-430-9328 or go to HealingTheEye.com. That's 800-430-9328 or visit HealingTheEye.com. The answer is right under your nose. 800-430-9328. 800-430-9328. Lately, more and more nutritionists are discovering that beets are a superfood that offers powerful health and nutritional benefits. Can red beets help eye disease? Studies indicate that red beets are the richest source of dietary nitrates. It's these dietary nitrates which the body converts into nitric oxide. Nitric oxide can open up the blood vessels in the body, increasing blood flow and oxygen specifically to places that are lacking oxygen. Nitric oxide is a molecule that dilates blood vessels, allowing more oxygen and nutrients to fuel every cell in your body, including your eye. Neo40 is a patented breakthrough in nitric oxide delivery to boost the efficiency of the body's nitrate pathways so that more nitric oxide is available when and where it's needed. Each Neo40 lozenge is roughly equivalent to six red beets. For more information on Neo40, call 800-430-9328 or go to HealingTheEye.com. That's 800-430-9328 or HealingTheEye.com. You can beat eye disease now. Call 800-430-9328. Are you looking for more natural alternative medical solutions but aren't finding them from traditional doctors? Do you wish your doctor spent more time helping you prevent health problems? Join us for the Top 20 Alternative Doctors of America Conference and Gala. For the price of a doctor's visit, you can attend workshops and personally meet and greet each doctor. Leave with the knowledge to change your life forever. All participants will receive a copy of the best-selling book, Top Alternative Doctors of America. The event will be held in Phoenix, May 14th through the 18th at the Hilton Point Hotel at Squaw Peak. Register now and save. Find those medical solutions using a more natural, safe way at this special event. For more information or to register, go to ahima.us or call 602-263-3589. ahima.us or call 602-263-3589. Leave with the knowledge to change your life forever. Hi, this is Ken from the right side of the trade. Let's have an adult conversation. Most people still have not achieved their financial goals. Have you? Learn how to get what you really want at one of Online Trading Academy's market timing workshops. We can teach you a proven method for trading any market like a pro. Call 480-634-2301. Mention the right side of the trade and get two free tickets to an upcoming market timing workshop. Call 480-634-2301 now. Tech One Auto in Peoria is your premier auto repair and service shop. We offer rapid, accurate diagnosis and repair. Our technicians are specially trained and we're fully committed to a service-oriented code of ethics. There's no need to wait around while we work on your car. We'll call you when the repairs are done. If you need a car while yours is in the shop, we can arrange a rental car at our low rate of only $10 per day. Call now and ask for Fred Hules, owner of Tech One Auto, 623-486-4824, 623-486-4824, or visit techoneauto.com. That's tech, the number one, auto.com, or call 623-486-4824. Visit us online at 1100kfnx.com. Uh, welcome back to Healthy Vision. This is your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat. And what is the way to remove that elevated lead? Well, it's chelation therapy. It uses a molecule called EDTA, ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. It's a big molecule, four vinegar molecules stuck together, and it binds that lead makes it water soluble. You can get the chelation either intravenously, oral, or rectally. So talk to your alternative doctor about chelation therapy. And recently there was a national government study done that proved the effectiveness of chelation in preventing heart disease. This was an amazing study. 
that showed that the group that took chelation therapy had a 28 to 38% lower incidence of heart attack. 28 to 38%. My goodness, if any drug would show a 10% difference, it would be the leading selling drug. So if you do have that elevated lead, or certainly if you have heart disease or diabetes, consider chelation therapy. Uh, we have another knock on the door. We have Tom from Mesa. Tom, welcome to Healthy Vision. Uh, yes, I was calling about the chelation therapy. And uh, for a person who has trouble with IVs, and I know that you have to take numerous IVs for that, you mentioned the orally or rectally uh, chelation. Can you give any more details on those? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of people as you get older, um, you know, you just don't have very good veins or you don't like the IV. So there is a very effective way with uh, rectal. You have a rectal suppository of EDTA. It's a little bit slower acting, but it may be gentler to your body. Mm -hmm. And so folks, folks who are unable to do the IV, I recommend they use a rectal suppository, and it's called detoxamine. And, in fact, I occasionally use that rectal suppository myself. Uh, just I just don't have time for an IV, and my lead is slightly elevated, so I'll do that a couple times a week. It's recommended you do it every other night. And also, at the same time, if you're doing the rectal suppository of EDTA, it's recommended you also take the oral chelation. One thing I have to emphasize, that if you do have elevated lead, it's really a long-term project to eliminate the lead. It's not like you do a couple suppositories or a few IVs and the lead's gone. It takes six months to a year of um, being really steady, addressing the problem, taking the chelating agent, and at the same time, making certain that you're not putting additional lead into your body. And that's why I'm such a big advocate of organic, uh, raw living food. You know, those things are something that will not only strengthen your body, give you all the necessary nutrients, but you're going to be assured that if you're eating a good quality organic food, that you're not consuming any more lead. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of great alternative doctors uh, in Mesa, and the best place to go to find one is the website, ahima.us, A-H-I-M-A uh, dot U.S. You can get in touch with somebody that can help you. Yeah, well, that's tell you which, which doctors would uh, have the most experience with the, uh, the oral and the rectal chelation. Well, most of the members of our organization do have experience. We're always talking about it at our meetings. Hey, and hey, Tom, I hope to see you at the big gala and conference. Uh, you know, it's going to be May 16th, 17th, and 18th. You can come and meet with me. And the top 20 alternative doctors in the country are going to be at that meeting, including about five or so from Phoenix, mm -hmm. I believe from Mesa. Yeah, well, that sounds like a, be a good, uh, interesting conference. Yeah, I hope to see you there, Tom, and thanks for your call. All right, thank you. Um, one other thing I'd like to talk about is light therapy. Uh, you may have heard the commercial about intranasal light. Uh, stimulating circulation, helping to reverse symptoms of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. It's hard to believe, but light therapy can help. And I'm not just talking about light from a light bulb. I'm talking about a laser light that delivers a certain frequency of laser energy. Uh, this is not the laser like you, you saw in um, the James Bond movies where it cuts metal. This is a laser light which stimulates cellular activity. Studies have been shown that the laser light stimulates ATP, stimulates uh, circulation, a lot of cellular mechanics. There's been a study done in Germany that showed that the laser can reverse symptoms of macular degeneration and glaucoma. So we're talking about a cold laser, and this is a laser that you apply uh, over your eye, a closed eyelid, and it should be done under supervision, so I don't want the listeners, you folks out there, to buy any laser and to begin applying it improperly because many times if you have the wrong equipment 
uh, you can produce uh, harmful effects. So the key is you want a low-energy laser, not an extremely high-energy uh, laser, uh, because the retina and the eye is very delicate tissue. So most of the work that was done was a low-level laser light. So keep that in mind, low-level laser light. Uh, I have come across a laser. It's called the Delta Laser, D-E-L-T-A, and you can give the office a call on more information. This laser not only delivers the low-level laser light, but it also delivers a pulse electromagnetic field. And uh, this is a type of energy, a magnetic, magnetic energy that produces uh, microcurrent and electrons. So many of these treatments that we're talking about that puts energy into the body. And many alternative doctors feel that disease is a lack of electrons, a deficiency of electrons. So by putting energy into your body, uh, adding electrons, if you will, your body will have a chance to reverse. Uh, this is the mechanism of microcurrent that we talked about earlier. It puts electrons into the body and uh, using microcurrent stimulates blood flow, increases cellular activity. The same thing with the laser. The laser light uh, has a healing energy, stimulates blood flow, stimulates cellular activity. So all these things can be very helpful to reverse eye disease. But keep in mind, you've got to have those nutritional building blocks. If you have a really crappy diet, you're deficient in zinc, you don't have the right nutrients, forget about stimulating your eye, forget about improving blood flow. You need all these components if you want your vision to improve, and that's why you really have to look at the business of elevated lead. So if you want some information on this Delta laser, uh, you can go to my website, www.healingthei.com. That's healing the T-H-E-E-Y-E.com, or give the office a call at 800-430-9328. That's 800-430-9328. Uh, we're coming up to a close on Healthy Vision, and I want to thank all of you for listening. And remember, I'm here every Sunday evening at 5 o'clock Arizona time to help you with pointers to uh, improve your health, and help you to restore lost vision. And in closing, if you're interested in getting a copy of my new book, The Top 20 Alternative Doctors of America, give the office a call at 800-430-9328. Remember, if you do go to the conference in Gala, you will get a free copy of the book, The Top 20 Alternative Doctors of America. So this is your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat, wishing you good health, we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. If you'd like to learn more about alternative eye treatments, access free reports, or subscribe to Dr. Kondrat's newsletter, visit us at healingtheeye.com. If you enjoyed today's show, please write a review. We love hearing from listeners. To hear more episodes about alternative eye treatments, click subscribe and download all of our previous shows. We wish you good health and clear vision.